The other thing I learned is that like we have some like real like poetry badasses. Like when when you think of like our literary heritage, people don't realise that his poets did some like crazy, crazy, amazing stuff. Like Siegfried Sassoon, um, his uh, his middle name's Lorraine, which is brilliant. Um, uh, Siegfried Lorraine Sassoon, during the Second World War, he stormed a German trench armed with just grenades, chased loads of like soldiers out, and then sat and like held the the um, the bunker he was in for two hours with a uh, with a poetry book, just sat and read poetry for two hours, and, and like and this is, must be a story that had gone around within the ranks within the, the soldiers and stuff. But then he just kind of came back and then like just went, yeah, we should be in a way doing this. And it was like, all right, cool. Um, like crazy, like amazing, amazing stuff. He, he left the army, had all these affairs with different different men and women. Um, he did whatever he wanted to do. And during that time, that was hugely controversial. Um, but the guy was like amazing. Like, um, you know, Byron, Byron like was told he couldn't have a dog when he went to university. So he got a bear, because he didn't say anything in the rules about not having a bear, lived with a bear, like, in his halls at university. Now, I don't really know what, like, the RSPCA would say about that nowadays, but you've got to acknowledge that that's pretty... That's not the kind of picture that we get of these poets a lot of the time, or, like, how they're presented to us in school. Like, these guys were pretty, like, out there. Um, and I think, bizarrely, by going around to all these graves and, like, hearing stories from local people about these poets and reading up on them as we were going around you realize that like that, like they are in like our poets are really interesting people really interesting people